Hello, I'm Roberta. I'm the host of What's Cooking with Roberta. Hi, welcome to What's Cooking with Roberta. Today we're making suet pudding, S-U-E-T. Suet is the white fat around beef after it has been butchered at the meat market. You need to go to the grocery store and ask them to grind you some suet. Well, suet is a fat, so yes, it will melt. This is what ground suet looks like. It is uh, kind of greasy if you rub it in your fingers. You know, it will have a greasy uh, feel to it. But you try to get it so that it doesn't have streaks of meat in it, muscle, whatever. You just want the fat and um, that should be ground up and uh, the butcher shops, the, the grocery stores may not have uh, ground suet or suet that they can grind right away so they may have some in um, hand in the freezer uh, it will appear like a chunk of butter so what you need to do is take a knife and it will crumble right off if it has been ground so I have in this pan a cup of suet and a cup of ground up potatoes now I will add a cup of ground up carrots, raw carrots, and this is all very nutritious. Think of all those fruits and vegetables, or vegetables at this point, and we will be adding a lot of different fruits later as we go along. Mix all those up with a fork in a big mixing bowl because you're going to have a lot of stuff in here before you get all through. Get all this mixed up well. Okay, one and a half cups of flour. and a half a cup. Mix that in. Um, this recipe I got from my mother. And I believe I recall her saying that she got it from the cook at our um, woman's club organization in the town we lived in, in Iowa, from their cook of the clubhouse. Uh, the clubhouse was used for various organizations to hold their monthly or weekly meetings in, and, and meals were always served. And this was a recipe from the cook of that uh, clubhouse. Um, and the unique thing about this recipe is that it has the carrots and potatoes. Not every suet recipe has this uh, ingredients. OK. 
Okay, so in one cup of sugar. One cup of sugar going on. Generally, the only time I have made it has been at Christmas time. Because it reminds me a lot of the English plum pudding. Uh, it has the same consistency and um, it looks like a plum pudding, but to me it is better because of the carrots and potatoes. More wholesome. For, des for dessert, right. Correct. And then there is a sauce that goes on top. This will be uh, steamed in a pan of water. Um, it will have been placed in um, cans, tin cans, that have previously held other fruits or vegetables and uh, that have been cleaned and sanitized. Yeah. So the cans will be greased. Now I do all the spices. One teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of cloves. Nope, I haven't changed it at all. It's the very same recipe that she gave me. Uh, my mother passed away 25 years ago, and she made it probably 30 years before that. So uh, I know I have had it since my adult years and I am now 81 so it has been in the family for quite a while you know they always leave it for me to make and so I'm the one that makes it if they ask for it not everybody asks for it one tablespoon of nutmeg tablespoon of cinnamon. Yeah, we'll mix all these up. It is getting the moisture from the carrots, the potatoes, and the suet. So it is moist. You're able to work it with your hands if you care to and it's beginning to clump together. Yes, very definitely, yeah. It'll be. So that's a fourth of a cup of melted butter. And we want one teaspoon of soda. soda we melt in three tablespoons of hot water. To make it rise, raisins, and they magically appear. Okay, one cup of raisins. Raisins. Now, walnuts go in. Add a little bit of dates at a time. Yes, back when uh, we first took out the recipe, we did not have food processors. So we used the old fashioned grinders that you clamped onto the side of the counter. And then you turn uh, it like this. The cherries are in here, half a cup of cherries. And now, just mixing it up, and then we'll put it into the Grease chicken, that's mix. Now the sauce, we we put this in a large pot of, of boiling water. You have the cans, you put wax paper over the top with a rubber band around the top so that it can breathe a little bit. And you fill the cans two-thirds full of our suet pudding mix. 
put them in the pan and boil them for three hours. After that, you take it out, remove the, it's like a, a, a cake, a, a loaf of bread. Uh, take that out and wax, uh, wrap them in aluminum foil and save them until you're ready to eat them. They will keep in the refrigerator for up to, I would say, three weeks. Uh, the sauce that we'll make, it's called a hard sauce, and we have two cups of milk, a tablespoon of butter, a cup of white sugar, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and a teaspoon of, of vanilla extract, and you heat all these up together to make this hard sauce. Then you can save that a container until you eat the suet pudding. Take a little of this all out, heat up the suet pudding, heat up your hard sauce separately, and then pour the hard sauce over the warm suet pudding. And it's delicious and healthy because it has carrots and potatoes and all these good spices in it, flour and sugar. It's a meal in itself. Okay, you take a piece of wax paper uh, and butter or Crisco and wax the inside of your pan. So just wrap around and around with it. And it is, it's not exacting. You don't have to make sure you get every little nook and cranny filled because after all there is suet in that and the suet is greased too. So, the cans, two-thirds full. Two-thirds full. Two-thirds full. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we have four cans here. Rather than have another can of little, we will have four large containers of sweat pudding. cans in a pot of water that is about halfway up the sides of the cans and we will have the water to boiling so it'll be medium high uh, and it needs to steam in there in boiling water for three hours. At that time you take it out, remove the cans and let them cool before you take them out of the cans. Once the water is boiling, you can hear it. Cans are rattling around in there. Then you lower the temperature so that it's still just steaming. It'll start to harden and clear because right now it has a milky color to it. A little bit. A little bit, not, a, not completely. Just more. But it's getting there. It's all mixed up otherwise. Just wait for the butter to melt. Bring it to a boil and then we'll stop. It's just about done. So pudding is ready. One, run a knife around the edge of the can and it just pops out. You slice them 
around like that. Do little dabs like that. Do it. And because the sauce is cooler, then you stick them in the microwave. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. There you have suet pudding with hard sauce. Join me next time for tuna casserole, and it'll be a delicious family staple for a Friday night.